Kwanzaa is a week-long pan-African secular holiday primarily honoring African-American heritage. It is observed from December 26 to January 1 each year, almost exclusively in the United States of America. Kwanzaa consists of seven days of celebration, featuring activities such as candle lighting and pouring of libations, and culminating in a feast and gift-giving. It was founded by Ron Karenga and first celebrated from December 26, 1966, to January 1, 1967. Karenga calls Kwanzaa the African-American branch of First Fruits, celebrations of classical African cultures. Ron Karenga created Kwanzaa in California in 1966, during his leadership of the Black Nationalist United Slaves Organization, also known as the U.S. Organization in order to give African Americans an alternative holiday to Christmas. Hill later stated, It was chosen to give a black alternative to the existing holiday and give blacks an opportunity to celebrate themselves and history, rather than simply imitate the practice of the dominant society. The name Kwanzaa derives from the Swahili phrase Matunda ya Kwanzaa, meaning, first fruits. The choice of Swahili, an East African language, reflects its status as a symbol of Pan-Africanism, especially in the 1960s, though most African Americans have West African ancestry. An additional, a, uh, was added to, Kwanzaa, so that the word would have seven letters. At the time there were seven children in Kalanga's United Slaves Organization, each wanted to represent one of the letters in Kwanzaa. Also, the name was meant to have a letter for each of what Kalanga called the Seven Principles of Blackness. Kwanzaa is also sometimes spelled Kwanzaa. It is a celebration that has its roots in the civil rights era of the 1960s and was established as a means to help African Americans reconnect with what Kalanga characterized as their African cultural and historical heritage by uniting in meditation and study around principles that have their putative origins in what Kalanga asserts are. African traditions, and common humanist principles. In 1967, a year after Kalanga proposed this new holiday, he publicly espoused the view that Jesus was psychotic and that Christianity was a white religion that blacks should shun. However, as Kwanzaa gained mainstream adherence, Kalanga altered his position so as not to alienate practicing Christians, then stating in the 1997 Kwanzaa, a celebration of family, community, and culture. Kwanzaa was not created to give people an alternative to their own religion or religious holiday. That same year the first Kwanzaa stamp was issued by the United States Postal Service on October 22 at the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles, California. In 2004 a second Kwanzaa stamp, created by artist Daniel Muner was issued which is seven figures in colorful robes symbolizing the seven principles. Kwanzaa celebrates what its founder called the Seven Principles of Kwanzaa, or Nguzo Sabe, originally Nguzo Sabe, the Seven Principles of Blackness, which Kalanga said is a communitarian African philosophy, consisting of Kalanga's distillation of what he deemed the best of African thought and practice in constant exchange with the world. These seven principles comprise Kawaida a Swahili term for tradition and reason that Kalanga used to refer to his synthesized system of belief. Each of the seven days of Kwanzaa is dedicated to one of the following principles, which are explained by Kalanga as follows. Amoya, unity, to strive for and maintain unity in the family, community, nation and race. Twijichagulia, self-determination, to define ourselves, name ourselves, create for ourselves and speak for ourselves. Ajima collective work and responsibility, to build and maintain our community together and make our brothers and sisters problems our problems and to solve them together. Ajima, cooperative economics, to build and maintain our own stores, shops and other businesses and to profit from them together. Naya, purpose, to make our collective vocation the building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. Kumbo, creativity, to do always as much as we can, in the way we can, in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. Imani, faith, to believe with all our heart in our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. These principles correspond to Kalanga's notion that, 
the sevenfold path of blackness is think black, talk black, act black, create black, buy black, vote black, and live black. It is unclear how many people celebrate the holiday. According to a marketing survey conducted by the National Retail Foundation in 2004, Kwanzaa is celebrated by 1.6% of all Americans, or about 4.7 million. In the 2003 interview Kaurangia asserted that 28 million people celebrate Kwanzaa. He has always maintained it is celebrated all over the world. In President George W. Bush's 2004 presidential message, Kwanzaa 2004, as in several previous messages, he said that during Kwanzaa, millions of African Americans and people of African descent gather to celebrate their heritage and ancestry. Families celebrating Kwanzaa decorate their households with objects of art, colorful African cloth, especially the wearing of the awal by women, and fresh fruits that represent African idealism. It is customary to include children in Kwanzaa ceremonies and to give respect and gratitude to ancestors. Libations are shared, generally with a common chalice, kikam cha amoya, passed around to all celebrants. A model Kwanzaa ceremony is described as a ceremony which includes drumming and musical selections, libations, a reading of the African Pledge, and the principles of blackness, reflection on the pan-African colors, a discussion of the African principle of the day or a chapter in African history, a candlelighting ritual, artistic performance, and, finally, a feast. The greeting for each day of Kwanzaa is, Habarigani, Swahili words for, what's the news? At first, observers of Kwanzaa shoot the mixing of the holiday or its symbols, values and practice with other holidays. They felt that doing so would violate the principle of Kujichugulia, self-determination, and thus violate the integrity of the holiday, which is partially intended as a reclamation of important African values. Today, many African-American families celebrate Kwanzaa along with Christmas and New Year's. Frequently, both Christmas trees and canaries, the traditional candle holder symbolic of African-American roots, share space in Kwanzaa celebrating households. To them, Kwanzaa is an opportunity to incorporate elements of their particular ethnic heritage into holiday observances and celebrations of Christmas. In 1977, in Kwanzaa, origin, concepts, practice, Karenga stated that Kwanzaa was chosen to give a black alternative to the existing holiday and give blacks an opportunity to celebrate themselves and history, rather than simply imitate the practice of the dominant society. In 1997, Karenga changed his position, stating that while Kwanzaa is an African-American holiday, it can be celebrated by people of any race, other people can and do celebrate it, just like other people participate in Cinco de Mayo besides Mexicans, Chinese New Year besides Chinese, Native American powwows besides Native Americans. Currently, according to the official Kwanzaa website authored by Karenga and maintained by Organization Us, which Karenga chairs, Kwanzaa was not created to give people an alternative to their own religion or religious holiday. And it is not an alternative to people's religion or faith but a common ground of African culture. Kwanzaa is not a reaction or substitute for anything. In fact, it offers a clear and self-conscious option, opportunity and chance to make a proactive choice, a self-affirming and positive choice as distinct from a reactive one. Kaurangi's most recent interpretation emphasizes that while every people have their various holiday traditions, all people can share in the celebration of our common humanity, any particular message that is good for a particular people, if it is human in its content and ethical in its grounding, speaks not just to that people, it speaks to the world.